That was interesting. Uh, the whole time that Dominique Robinson's been uh, coming into this fight, he's been staring at John Gunnarsson, and, and they get to the center of the cage, and he, uh, he doesn't make eye contact. Maybe that's his pre-fight preparation. Yeah, he might be tapping the brakes on that. But right now, he's going to have to look him in the eye and they're controlling that emotion. See Robinson holding the center of the cage early. Not rushing forward. Gunnarsson drops and shoots immediately. Definitely wants to put Robinson on his back. Robinson fighting him off pretty good. Good usage of hips. Keep that under hook. And it's what Dave Kaplan tried to do to him too in his last fell out. And Robinson remained on his feet and punished him from the tie clinch. Gunderson staying in tight. Not a lot for either fighter so far. You can see Robinson trying to control the head. Gunderson extending a lot of uh, energy here trying to get the takedown, but he's standing in control. Robinson just continues to show great balance. Every time I've seen him fight, I've been very impressed with his ability to stay upright. And you're right, Gunderson pressing in, using a lot of energy. Could be a factor later on. I think this could be one of those fights that could, could go a while. Both guys are in excellent condition. Gunnarsson finally does get to the ground. Robinson tried to pop right back up. He is in a seated position. Give Gunnarsson credit. He never really stopped his pursuit. Yep. Relentless. A lot of guys would have backed up and regrouped. He stayed right in there. And still, even as uh, Robinson gets up, he's keeping the pressure on. Yeah, I mean, the good news for Gunnarsson is, you know, he's not absorbing any huge punishment from Robinson. Uh, who's certainly capable of delivering some heavy blows, but at the same time, he's, he's spending a lot of energy up against the cage. Oh, almost finishes. Continues to drive through to Gunnarsson, but still can only get Robinson to a knee, and now Robinson is actually going to press forward and take top position. And it looks like Mount is there for the taking if he can push that right leg through. Has to settle for half mount. Let's see what kind of ground game he has from top position. Is he going to ground and pound or pass? Well, the ground game seems a little suspect because he had an opportunity there to actually get a full, full mount, and he didn't really take advantage of it. I'm surprised he really hasn't done any damage yet, really thrown any big punches from the top. Looks like he's you know, not letting the emotion get the best of him, not letting that little rivalry you know, frustrate him too much in this. He's thinking through, controlling position. Nice elbow right there from Robinson. Again, how much energy did Gunderson expend in that first three minutes where he was really pressing the issue, doing everything to take Robinson down? Not sure what Robinson wants to do from the top. It looks like he was thinking about possibly dropping back for a choke. He's certainly got some powerful punches. You have to really unleash those. He's not sure what he wants to do. No, he's not. Watch the leg Watch the there. Leg. Gunderson wrapping up the right leg. Robinson feels it. Nice punch to just make him just abandon that thought. Right here, he's accepted for a right hand. Yeah, Gunnarsson can use that cage to walk up. You see now it's Robinson pressing in, keeping the fight on the ground. I'll tell you what, he seems uh, very confident on the ground with John Gunderson. I thought he may be more reluctant and want to stand this up. Yeah, you're right. He's had plenty of opportunities to back away and reset on the feet, but it looks like he's comfortable there. Gunderson just completely unrelenting. Robinson's corner tells him to watch that guillotine. It's right there for you. Robinson's corner is giving him some really good instructions. And he's listening and he's following orders. Get your hips back. Good work. Now turn him. Gunderson working for that takedown again, pressing in against the cage. Robinson's going to try to spin off. One of the unique features of the Tachi Palace cage is those little corner pockets over there. Yeah, the pockets. 
Nice knee. Uh-oh. Oh. He's in trouble. He is in trouble. High kick block there, but Robinson is right on top here in the closing seconds of the first round. Close to the back of the head on that elbow. Looks like Gunderson's going to survive the round. Oh, knee to the chest. Thing. That was a great good, good round, round for, for Dominique Robinson. Robinson. Yeah.